TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right above me, if we do go live, this is the channel where you can catch any of the highlights and things of that nature. Uh, don't forget, we do got pay tree on. We post here Monday through Friday, man. You see what I'm saying? And things that cannot go on YouTube, such as this, that get blocked, we put them there. Don't forget, we got, we got merch as well. And the link to all of this is down in the description below, man. Just hit link tree, it'll all pop up, man. This is Ape Honcho. TikToker K I L L S is himself on live stream. I was trying to hold it in, but like if you do this on live, like who are you trying to like? Like it's just one more thing for clout before you go. Like I know, men, my bad, man. I'm not trying to get uh, no. I, like I gotta say it, man. Mental health is a serious thing. Please don't let this be the last resort, man. Go get help. There's people, there's hotlines, there's family, there's people out here who care about you. Hit me up. I'll reply. Ask, there's certain people that have been going through stuff and they hit me up and we have conversations. So. On the night of October 9th, 2023, a TikToker would go live on TikTok after disappearing from social media a few days prior. Usually, the TikToker in question would appear on live streams on a near enough daily basis. Never but allegations him. that recently emerged made him step away from social media. So Many thought he went live to set things straight and give his side of the story. However, ladies and gentlemen, something much more tragic occurred. I'm not even gonna lie, Olivia, you seen what that man did. Why would you send a rose? That's crazy to me. She witnessed what happened and she sent the rose. That's trolling. To begin, we must rewind the clock back to March of 2023. And by this point, 23-year-old Italian Call of Duty cosplayer, TikToker Vincent Pellici, known online as Inquisitor 3, had garnered hundreds of thousands of followers on the platform. Gaining a huge following comes with more responsibilities. For example, working with friends, which means you don't necessarily have the time to be doing tasks such as editing. And Vincent knew that all too well. It's unclear at what point he hired an and that's what I be saying. Like, it's hard for me to edit, even though I am one of the best editors on the platform. But I, you know what I'm saying? I get it done. Editor. But we know that in March of 2023, he had one. And then 17 year old. AJ. It should be noted, though, that at that moment in time, AJ had told Vincent she was much older. On the 25th of March, 2023, she was much older. It should be noted, though, that at that moment in time, AJ had told Vincent. That in March of 2020. It's unclear at what point he hired an editor, but we know that in March of 2023, he had one. A then 17 year old AJ. It should be noted though that at that moment in time, AJ had told Vincent she was much older. On the 25th of March 2023, a conversation between AJ and Vincent went as follows Yep, mine's Vincent. Oh, whoa. You're the second one I tell my name. On the 26th of March, 2023, a conversation between AJ and Vincent went as follows. AJ, Teskio, I love you so much. I'm almost done, just need the shakes, but I gotta eat real quick. Thank you, honey, you have all the time. You can send it when you want. Bro like, huh? I'ma marry you. Shortly after this message exchange, Vincent found out First of all, if there's somebody working for me on a business level, I'm not talking to them like this. Never. How AJ? Maybe I'm just too like, I'm too much of a member to, to like play, even play like this. 
real age and that she apparently was quote problematic within certain discord servers so he dropped her as an editor and moved on with his life he continued to make people happy, continued to grow his community, and even went on to save a couple of people's lives in the process. Without his videos, they said, they don't think they'd be around today. How do we go from this? People have said that to me before, and I take that very seriously. No matter how many views or likes I get, somebody's watching me and somebody needs to see this, so. Salute. Point just after March then, to what tragically occurred in early October. Well, we've now got to fast forward to September, and out of nowhere, AJ pops up to Vincent after months of no contact. On the 16th of September, AJ sends the following Discord message. Oh my god. Hi. I love you. Date me. Joke. She receives no response. Then three days later, she sends another message with sad faces. She gets a response. You should ask in general if you can DM me. Oh sorry, can we get to know each other? Nope. Why? I'm not a minor. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. It isn't entirely clear what messages were sent after this because those screenshots aren't publicly available. That initial exchange that you've just seen took place around midday. The next part- Okay, seems like he's done the right thing. I am not a minor. The conversation picks up hours later in the evening. I never said you're a pedo. I just joined the server and saw you. I remembered you. I never said you're a pedo, Vincent. Vincent then swiftly responds with the screenshot of AJ calling him exactly that. So who's this? I never said that. I wasn't online today. Wait, no way. Oh shit, Diana is on my account. I forgot to change my password. Bro, get a life. What you mean? I never said you're a pedo. Again, it isn't entirely clear what messages were sent after this because screenshots aren't publicly available. However, the conversation continues. No, no, I don't want to get with you. Just friends. Not a fan of the way you acted, to be honest. Huh? If you can please stop texting me, you'd be very kind. Damn, what did I do? Inquisitor, I just hope you'll see this. You know me. You know exactly who I am. I never expose you, Teskio. I'm AJ, your editor. I just want to talk with you again. Everyone is talking about you doing this shit. Who? What did I do? So you better fucking fix this. What happened? Can you tell me, please? Teskio, be very careful of what you say. What did I say? You're not even telling me what I said. Teskio, I just miss you. I missed talking to you. So, AJ laid it on pretty thick and all this seemingly out of nowhere. Months later, suddenly, she bumps into him on a Discord server, begins to spread allegations that he's a pedophile, and after that, messages him, baiting him for answers. It's almost as if she's trying to get him to say something. A big I had nothing gotcha better man. to do. Who is this AJ editor? Just had just a kid online having nothing better to do. I don't know what country I forgot what country they said it was, but the age was seventeen in the beginning. He lied. AJ lied, not seventeen, the younger. Wait, what's going on? Well, Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what she was trying to do. You see, by September of 2023, AJ had been in a relationship with another Call of Duty cosplay TikToker, Tito is acting badly. And together, they came up with a plan to quote, expose Vincent. At some point during September, she told him about the previous interactions that she had had with Vincent. What the fuck are we going to do? It's not a life or death crisis and here's what I want you to do. I want you to keep flirting with him and see where it goes. If he starts to get sexual, then I'll expose him. We just need better and more proof. Isn't that a lot of proof? This is in reference to the conversations in March. Baby, we need a reason for him to get cancelled. Flirting is one thing, sexting is... Bro, there's really people out here who plot on people's downfall? Like, to me, this is plotting on a man's downfall. The man already said he was good, but you, you like, pressing the issue, like... It's another. It just shocks me that people do this. Like, this is weird. Like, this, these two, AJ and the other dude, you are both weirdos. And I hope y'all see this. I've never seen those birds before. You're a wilder. You're a weird, weird, weirdo. Mockingjay. 
This is weird behavior. On October 5th, 2023, Call of Duty cosplay TikToker Keegan's Mass ago. posted a video explaining that another huge content creator within the same niche, Inquisitor 3, had allegedly been messaging a minor back in March. Keegan's Mask also had a huge following. It's to no surprise that the video covering the situation blew up online. Keegan's no Mask had been given the info by someone within her circle, but it's clear that the person who gave her this information didn't know all the facts. And rather than investigate, double checking with others to see if these allegations were true, she ran- And that's what I'm saying, man. When you got a platform like this, you can't just say something. You gotta like really fact check and really, really find out all the details before you jump out the window telling somebody that. Like, cause that's a big thing. You know what I'm saying? With the story, therefore pushing a false narrative. The video reached many, including those who knew the full context of the situation. They quickly go true. And rather, but it also had a huge had been given the info by someone within her circle but it's clear she also had a huge following it's to be messaging so what are we doing about her what's happening with her for spreading those rumors without fact checking and they're leading to this shouldn't they be shouldn't she be canceled too all parties involved have no relative like they, they have no relevance for me anymore like they didn't in the first place, but now, now they definitely don't. Didn't know all the facts. And rather than investigate, who knew the full context of the situation, these allegations were true. She ran with the story, therefore pushing a false narrative. The video reached many, including those who knew the full context of the situation. They quickly responded and Keegan's mask removed the video. She then announced she'd be taking a break from TikTok. It's too late. Keegan's mask has done the... She's she's done. The damage is done already, Keegan. You have a. He Let me see what her following is on TikTok. Keegan's Keegan's mask. Two hundred zero videos. She deleted everything. She has 200, wait, is this not, this not her account. Keegan's irrelevant, doesn't matter, I don't know. She's not there. But. Unfortunately, the damage had been done. Vincent saying. was now labeled by those in the community as a child predator. He began to be bombarded with messages across his like literally those that's one of those allegations that that doesn't even have to hold any weight if it's put on you is there social media pages instagram was where some of the most hateful messages were coming from and so he proceeded to delete the account all that hard work over the years gone in moments over false allegations but sadly ladies and gentlemen the worst was yet to come that's messed up Shit, you ever got to do ever got to go on go delicato sensibile Adesso anche su tutti questi social stanno venendo fuori un sacco di testimonianze di lui che mi dice, perché di lui i ragazzi che dicono grazie perché io stavo per farla finita e le parole di Vincent in privato e quella e le sue serisate mi hanno fatto desistere. Lui non è riuscito, non ha salvato se stesso, era, era, però lui era così, era un angelo. Diciamo c'è molto il cyberbullismo perché qui hanno proprio architettato una... una le falsità però l'accusa che era stata la croce che hanno messo sulle spalle di mio figlio era di, di, di pedofilia quindi di una gravità che si vede che anche lui quando io gli chiese perché aveva chiuso i profili non aveva avuto la forza temendo anche un giudizio degli altri perché è difficile dimostrare che non sia così e, e questa cosa deve... you gotta keep in mind that's a 23 year old he don't really know how to deal with you know life and y'all put that on them like that? That's crazy. That's crazy. That is cyberbullying. That is that like like almost in my mind, whoever Keegan, um, AJ, and the other dude, they should all be prosecuted in the court of law. Yeah, I don't care what y'all got to say. I do. I, I'm I'm curious in your opinion, but 
It should all be prosecuted in the court of law. I have no. I lost my son. Non si non capiamo perché perché io fino a me ho 50 l'ho sentito di abita nel mio pinerotto nel suo buon locale però ce lo stesso pinerotto mio perché aveva un po' di mal di testa eccetera mi ha detto era pareva molto tranquillo aveva passato un bel weekend cioè. questa cosa pareva che lui avesse detto mi sono disintossicato mi sono dai social no? invece era un po' un suo modo perché non voleva che, che questa colpa che le accuse che gli avevano mosso contro, ben architettate, non c'è nessun dubbio perché gli stessi che hanno architettato questa cosa l'hanno confessato su TikTok. On the evening of October 9th, 20... And people confessed that they knew it wasn't true? Like, come on, bro. 23, Vincent would go on TikTok Live for the last time. Many thought he was about to address the allegations, but instead, he sadly took his own life. At around 11 p.m., a girl who lived in the same apartment block as Vincent and his father Matteo knocked on Matteo's door to tell him that she had just witnessed Vincent take his own life on TikTok Live. After receiving this information, Matteo sprang into action and rushed to his son's apartment. However, there was no answer. So Matteo jumped onto the balcony, smashed the window in, and attempted CPR on his son. But sadly, it was too late. News of Vincent's death and the real story. I said a lot in the beginning uh, because I didn't know the story, but this is a messed up one. This is messed up. This bogus. They all bogus. Who? What was her name again? Keegan. Keegan, you down bad. You're bogus. Keegan. Keegan, you had the power in the situation. You heard something, you ran with it instead of fact checking. You got too you got too big of a following to be playing that type game with people's lives. And you can say all you want, man, it ain't my fault. I didn't pull it. Yes, you did. You were part of it. Re spread like wildfire. There were a mix of emotions from fans. Some were sad, others angry. Most were both. Before long, those who had wronged Vincent felt the wrath of the public. Here's what Tito had to say in response to this whole situation. I don't even know Vincent, but I feel they did Vincent bogus. Okay, so... This guy, why do we care? I'm here to talk about my side of the story with the Inquisitor situation. I might delete this video soon, so... You guys can see. You're literally a no life. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. I don't, no one cares. Save it. You guys can post it everywhere. I don't care. Anyways, to begin, I knew about the Inquisitor situation around. Who is this guy? Because he's looking real like the one that was talking to AJ that set him up. Is that him? Is this him? Or am I tweaking right now? March? Because me and my girlfriend were talking about it. And that conversation really just vanished. And then very recently, she found his account again on TikTok. And she remembers the messages that he sent her. And she was telling me about it, saying that she wanted to expose him. And here are some messages that... almost everybody knows about okay. and I'm being accused this is him. of wanting to call him out as a pedophile yeah understand that I didn't want anything to do with this cap if it's not a life or death crisis here's what we want you to do I want you to keep flirting with him and see where it goes if he starts to get then I will expose yeah you did just say it right there in Android writing, it's not even an iPhone. In this screenshot, you can see why people are starting to blame me because it seems you're very blameable. Like I want to ruin his life. You did. I am not here saying I want to ruin his life. Now you're not because it came back to bite you. That is not what I said. Yeah. 
All I'm saying right here is that I want more proof to convince myself that he is a ped, a ped. That's all I wanted was more proof that he is. What so you can expose him. But we actually think he is. Here's another thing. I did not tell her to lie. I yes, you did. I want you to keep flirting. That's literally you telling her to lie because she doesn't want to flirt. And this is your girl, by the way, who you're putting at the forefront of a potentially volatile situation. You're an L boyfriend as well. Let's go put that. Let's make that clear. I did not tell her to lie. I did not tell her to crop screenshots. I did not tell her to edit things. Crop screenshots, I, okay. I am being completely honest with you. So basically the reason she went back to talk to him was because I needed more proof for myself. I am a man of God. I don't like ruining people's lives. I never wanted to ruin anybody's lives. And I wanted none of this to happen. That's why I backed down on it. That's why, that's why I asked for more. Now, let me show you a screenshot that people send me. Just lying. Be quiet, man. Get off the after screen. After I say, no, I didn't want to expose him. This is the screenshot. This comment was on Mr. Ghost's video. I made this comment when everybody already knew about it. So that's not me exposing him. That's me just saying what happened to me, too. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't know why my girlfriend would want to expose him with only that proof. And I know what she did was wrong. She apologizes. She doesn't want any harm. I remember. I get it, man. These kids, these are kids, man. It's just like, you're, they're, mis so, they're so misguided. Where are your parents? Where is your father? Going on his page and he was live. Um, but it was just like a dark room. Everybody knows about it. Um, but I was there for a good 10 minutes and I got off. And then like an hour and 30 minutes later, I got back on. It was still the same thing. I was confused. So then I got back off again. And then a few hours go by and I'm getting messages that something is happening in Inquisitor's live. But I was too late to go on his live. I was busy at the time. Um, but when I found out what happened and when I saw the video, I was generally confused at first. I didn't know what to believe at no, you weren't, bro. the moment people were saying, Oh, it's staged. Uh, he's okay in the hospital. He's deceased. There's just all these different rumors. Now, me and my girlfriend are getting a lot of hate, of course, which everybody knows. And now, since I'm getting a lot of hate, people are talking about my age and her age. How old are you? And spreading different rumors. Like, I'm 20 years old and she's 15, which is not true. So just to get one thing clear, I just turned 18 two months ago and she will be 17 for another seven months, I believe. So I am not a pedo trying to take down a pedo. I never try to take anybody down, but that's- Yeah, okay. No, that's not. What ended up happening. Another reason people- Isn't there like a grace period in America? Like if like you were both 17 at the same time, so. People say I'm involved is because when the Inquisitor closed his account about a week ago, uh, cosplayers, and I mean like six, seven, eight, they all started DMing me asking for the screenshots that AJ was using. So I sent them the screenshots, and that's all I did. Shouldn't have they did had that. their own opinions about those screenshots. I didn't say anything else. You shouldn't have did that, though. If you wasn't trying to ruin him for his life, you, like you just said it back in a couple seconds ago. 
if you needed proof and you needed more proof, why are you distributing screenshots? Except here are the screenshots. I did not message them first. They messaged me first. So that's pretty much my side of the story. People started talking about Inquisitor. Inquisitor closed his account. I started getting DMs. I was sending those screenshots that they wanted. A couple of days later, he reopens his account, goes live. That happens. And now I'm being attacked. So that's my side of the story. You know what, man? People always want to play, you know, they want to be, they want to be disruptive, intrusive, bullies. They want to be all this negative stuff. And then when, when people are bringing it back on you, like, oh, you did, did, did it now. Now I'm playing innocent. Like, bro, be that. If you're going to be that, be that fully. You're the bad guy in this book. Just be the bad guy. Stop trying to cry wolf. <laughs> but I really just want the COD community to get better. Really, we didn't mean for any of this to happen. This, the, the Call of Duty community is already super toxic anyway. And now, y'all, this type of toxic is crazy. And AJ have been praying for his family. And I know that makes nothing right. I'm really sorry all of this happened out of nowhere. You shouldn't even went on here and said nothing because, you know what I'm saying? This is forever ingrained in the internet now. I don't know if you can be prosecuted, but shoot, they definitely going to pull this. Yeah, now I'm getting DMs right now saying I'm homophobic, I'm a bully, I'm racist. I'm not any of those things. I want nothing but good for people. So... There's my apology. I'm sorry. Nobody deserves to die. Mm. I don't think the apology was genuine. I think he just had to do it because he's somebody on... He had to do it because of obvious reasons. Although many, including Matteo, wanted a criminal investigation to take place in relation to Vincent's death, it looks as if one may not be happening. That isn't to say that one won't take place though. I'm not too familiar with Italian sure. cybercrime laws, so maybe someone in the comment section could let me know. But what I do know is that previously people have been jailed for cyberbullying, which leads to death. I think all bullies should go get mental health screenings. And, and if you're a bully, you need to go talk to somebody to figure out what's going on in your life and maybe that can heal you. Open up a Bible, open up whatever you need to open up, do something, man. That's one of the craziest, that's a crazy story. Anyway, man, TLO, leave a like, comment, sub, turn on your post, I'm gone.